Here we go. Rockets, watch out! Let's go. This is gonna be one hell of a finale. I can't jump on it from here, which is uh, sad, but you can now command Songbird to attack enemy threats. Aim at any highlighted area and press square to start the attack. Larger targets will cause a longer cooldown. Yeah, I could do that. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my winter shield here, but for now I think everything will be fine. Because I can keep re uh, recharging that wherever I want. So if I go over there and say, uh, Songbird, attack that, she's just gonna tear that thing apart. Let's uh, turn this around, jump off for an extra shield, and then... And that one dies as well. Let's go back on the skyline, and that's the pretty much the scene we're gonna keep uh, reusing. Just gonna keep my salts for later, since we have a look with the uh, overkill piece of gear. Booker, he's Booker. Over there, the box. We need this thing to make it to Monument Island. So we need to keep destroying uh, gunships. So they don't destroy, uh, well, the hand of the prophet right over here. So let's skyline strike this guy and uh, take them. them. There we go. Ammo take it. I think Elizabeth, yeah, had ammo. There we go. There we go. Tell me where to send him. Well, there's another ship over there, so why not? Ooh, look how big he is. Oh, and there, of course, now the biggest ship is there. So there is even an upper area over here. I think there's a few sniper rifles up here as well, if I want to. But it's best to keep uh, going low. Because that's the next thing we need to destroy, because there's a lot of Fox Populi ships over here. And this thing is going to utterly destroy us if we don't destroy it back. And then let's use the shock. I'm going to have him attack the... Because uh, I need to be careful, because on the upper right there's a, a bar for the... Uh, Oh shit, I'm dying. I'm dying. Go ahead. Where is the... There he is. Oh shit. I'm gonna have to go like this. If these guys are gonna keep uh, firing at the, uh... there we go. I can call Songbird in Booker. Yeah, but I don't want you to call him in just yet because I can destroy these things on my own. I need him for the bigger ones. There we go, that one. Hit that seven. Be careful. <laughs> Oh, that's the wrong one. Take this. Much obliged. Sorry, that's all I got. Just gotta have to be careful and swap on and off the skylines because this is gonna end badly otherwise. Oh, come on. Reload, 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 reload. There's one. Skyline, 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 Skyline. Ooh. Uh, Matt Kid's there. Elizabeth. 
Oh, fuck. That's all I got. And there's a cat on my leg. Why? Get me on the, get me on the, get me on the. There we go. Let's turn that around and swack him in the face. Jesus, this, I hate this fight. No, 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 no. Ooh, I'm almost. This is not gonna work, I think. That was overkill. Salt, salt. Okay. Whew. Okay, that actually worked. I was afraid it's gonna it was gonna end badly there because we were starting to get to the last pieces of health of the the ship here. Because if that happens, it's completely game over. Um, well, not completely. Of course, you respawn, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah. So now we're actually where we need to be. We have the ship, we have the means to get to where we need what to be, come here? and we have right, control of Songbird. So there's the tower, and let's use Songbird to completely destroy the siphon and see Look, you what's can use going the songbird on. To bring the whole damn thing down. Destroy the siphon. And that's what you want. It's the only way we'll find the truth. Got my finger, Comstock, everything. I want you to pay attention to what's gonna happen to Elizabeth right now. So order Songbird. To destroy the siphon if we look at the tower um, I can actually just take the whistle apparently um, so say goodbye to the airship and uh, hello to the whistle let's tear take it, it. Down. tear it all down the bird or the cage and there he goes There it goes. The whistler. And we lose Elizabeth. control of Songbird completely. The bird, Elizabeth. I lost control. He's coming. No, he isn't. Where is he? Where is he? And there we go. I'm here. Just let go. There you go. So the pressure is too much for a songbird suit. Elizabeth, I'm sorry. But look where we are. Hello, Rapture. Very familiar song in the background, and there we have. What is this place? It's actually a familiar Elizabeth. area as well. It's a doorway. One of many. Because right now, we're at the very beginning of Bioshock 1 again. Where are you going? Oh, come on. Yes, it's this way. What Comstock said about your finger. Is there an answer here? Do you... Down here. Down here. So Elizabeth kind of became really, well, vague about everything once this happened. So this is where we first get Electrobold in Bioshock 1, which is just fucking awesome. Look at this. Look at this. We're in Bioshock Infinite, but... We're in Rapture, so let's head down and follow Elizabeth. We know where we're going, because we know this area. We're going to the, uh, um, whatchamacallit, uh, the Bathysphere, the Bathysphere. That thing, Bathysphere. This is where we have to go. Yeah, this Why? is where we what have to go. What is going on? Elizabeth, what do you mean this is a doorway? So this is, so this is after we pass through here as Jack, as you can see the, the Bathysphere is, uh, I think it's actually even past Bioshock Two, um, because the electrobolt is gone, so that's the biggest change. And of course, there's supposed to be another bathysphere there, but it's gone as well, which means it's probably uh, a bit further along. So let's activate the bathysphere. 
from. We still know where we're like going. Because we're uh, we're going back to the surface, which means we're going down, and then through that tunnel, and we're gonna do this entire uh, ride in reverse now, which is just we didn't get to do this in uh, Bioshock One since the uh, back to the City surface at scene. The bottom of the ocean happened at the end. Ridiculous. In a cutscene. Ridiculous. So yeah, that's of course referencing one of the uh, audio diaries from Bioshock One. That where uh, Andrew Ryan says that people start to say that and uh, if you look at Elizabeth she's really she doesn't really have an expression on her face again anymore because well unlocking her full potential gave her insight in everything so she already what knows that? our connection Thousands of doors opening all at once my god they're beautiful what, the stars no Booker, see, she she sees uh, everything right now. Her powers are completely unlocked, and now she sees all the doors Come on. opening Come on, to uh, other dimensions Come and on. timelines. So this is, of course, we're in Rapture. So this is uh, it's it's kind of assumed that they're happening in separate dimensions, uh, but they're just Are you going yeah. To open it? It's no good. Damn it. I thought once we were here, I, I could fully control it. I, I thought... What is that? It's a key. Where did it come from? It's always been there. I just... I just couldn't see it. It's always been there. I just couldn't see it. So suddenly a key appears in her hand, which allows her to open it. But I think it's more symbolic, as if we go through the door... See? Not stars. Doors. Doors to... To everywhere. All that's left is the choosing. Doors and lighthouses. So, they're a combination of the lighthouse leading to Rapture. And, well, I think that's pretty much it here. Yeah, they're all the, the lighthouses leading to Rapture. But I think what the ones in the back might be... Yeah. Where are we... Who are... There are a million, million worlds. All different and all similar. Constants and variables. What? There's always a lighthouse. There's always a man. There's always a city. How do you know this? I can see them through the doors. You, me, Columbia, Songbird. But sometimes, something's different. We have to say... Constants and variables. Yes. So there are things, so what she means with constants and variables is that she means there's always things that stay the same, but they're varying in slight alterations. So every time there's a lighthouse of both Rapture and um, Columbia start with a lighthouse, there's always a man, Booker or Jack, and there's always a city, Columbia or Rapture. So there's a split here, it doesn't really matter where you go, because of course Elizabeth can open any door. So if you go over here, there's another lighthouse. And of course, there's another door as well. Um, so let's open this one. And there we have the lighthouses Look, for uh, Columbia. Us. And us. Exactly. We swim in different oceans, but land on the same shore. It always starts with a lighthouse. I, I don't understand. We don't need to. It'll happen all the same. Why? Because it does. Because it has, because it will. There are so many choices. They all lead us to the same place. Where it started. No one tells me where to go. Booker, you've already been. So that's Elizabeth just saying that everything is set in stone. But this is, yeah, I, I understand this is kind of trippy. But I'm gonna explain it in a second. Well, most of this is just symbolic for how Elizabeth now sees the world. So they can, she can uh, open up any portal to any world and this is sort of a hub area from where she can uh, move from one world to the other. And that's why we can also see other Elizabeths and Bookers because of course in every world there should be a version of us as well moving from one area to the next. And let's open this one and keep going. Wait a minute. I know this place. Indeed. I was here. It must have been 20 years ago, right, right after Wounded Knee. I was looking for... 
Thomas. Come on now, time's a wasted. Why were you here? Are you ready to have your past erased? Are you ready to have your sins cleansed? Are you ready to be born again? Take my hand. No. No, I don't want so to. So we know this you man. already did, didn't you? So you already did, didn't you? So if I want to place this. So we traveled back in time to the point where uh, Booker just finished the battle at Wounded Knee. And he's been given a choice. He, he could be baptized or he could not be baptized. Elizabeth says it already happened, but Booker is clearly hesitant to even do so. What is more is that the preacher over here is the same guy that is at the beginning, very beginning of Columbia, where we get the very violently baptized at the beginning of the game. Hey, I baptize you in the name of our prophet. So let's, let's, um accept baptism again from this blind preacher. Are you ready to be born again? I am. Do you hate your sins? I do. Do you hate your wickedness? Yes. Do you want to clean the slate, leave behind all you were before, and be born again in the blood of the yes. Lamb? Jesus, wash this man clean. Wait. Father, Make him Stop born it. again. Lord. Stop it. What no. are you doing? Get off me! Shut off! Son! You didn't go through with it. You think a dunk in the river is going to change the things I've done? Let's get out of here. I mean, these doors of yours, they're, they're all tears, right? We'll open one up. Open one up to Paris. I want to be shut of all this. Not until we find Comstock. Comstock's dead! No. He was here. This way. So we know Comstock fought in the same battles as we did um because well he claims to be as well but now elizabeth says that he was in fact here so when we were given the choice to uh get baptized booker refused you you, knew, you saw he was starting to panic because he realized something was wrong that was not the way he remembered it and he stopped the preacher in his track so let's open the next door what of my debts? Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is the man who hired me to find you. Really? Yes, the girl for the debt. This is the man that hired me to find you. But now, of course, we know because the first time we heard that statement behind this closed door, the voice was really scrambled, so we couldn't really recognize the voice. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. And after that, we saw the Lutessas over there, but we kind of assumed it was just a hallucination of some kind. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. But apparently, it was Robert Lutess himself who ordered us to bring Elizabeth to him. Why would he do that? They seem to be able to do whatever they want, so why would they need Booker to bring Elizabeth to them? Well, uh, let's open the next door and find out, because we've been here a few times already. Uh, but there now there's sounds of a baby in the next room. We know Booker had a daughter at some point. And let's uh let's go in there wait, wait, no, and pick her up. What is this? It was no it was no baby. I, I remember. No, there was no baby, and if there was, I sure as hell wouldn't give it over to this guy. Booker, you don't leave this room until you do. Do it. Time is running short. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. So we already knew that there was something weird going on with Booker's wife. We don't Booker never wanted to talk about it. And we kinda thought there might have been a child as well, because he talked about it with real regret. So, Mr. DeWitt, is there a woman in your life? There was. She died. How? Giving birth. Oh. You have a child? No. But it seems that Booker didn't re realize that he had a baby, which it seems it did. But now the statement is used to bring our little girl to Robert Lattes. So let's pick up the baby and see how uh, how this, this scene unfolds. Go ahead. No. You can wait as long as you want. Eventually, you'll give him what he wants. How do you know all this? I can see all the doors, and what's behind all the doors. 
And behind one of them, I see him. Comstock. Comstock. So Elizabeth says that this already happened. We had a daughter. We gave our daughter to Latas because of our debts. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to let this play out because this is just an amazing scene. What choice do I have? The debt's paid. Mr. Comstock washes you of all your sins. Mr. Comstock washes you of all your sins. And there it goes. So uh, Elizabeth is still here just looking at us, but if we open the door again, Bring we're somewhere the else. Bring us and wipe away the debt. There was no baby. The deal was, I go to Columbia to get you. Booker, you're bleeding. Oh. I remember. But I remember. I... And there's all the now memories. We've upset him. I don't expect this next bit will do much for his mood. Come on. And this is also very, very awesome. So the couple that brought us here in the first place, because this is of course the beginning of the game, were the Latesses. We already kind of knew that because of the voices that matched the first time we met them. Um, but now we, we know a lot more of them and we know that their uh, conversations already have a bigger meaning that we think they had. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah. I see what you mean. Um, we know that they, they might have had something else to do with that. So since we're still bleeding, we're still remembering something from a different timeline. So again, this place is probably not the place we started at. But let's let's leave the boat again. What are we doing here? Comstock's dead. We can just go on with our lives. You don't need dead? to... You mean like Chen Lin? Like Lady Comstock? No. He is alive in a million, million worlds. It's not over because the Prophet is dead. It will only be over when he never even lived in the first place. It will only be over when he never even lived in the first place. So Elizabeth is thinking about uh, doing a little of a... Uh, well, sort of the theory that you could kill... Could you kill Hitler when he was a baby to stop him from becoming Hitler? Kind of thing. So... She wants to, well, stop Comstock from ever coming to be. So there we go. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is still the same, but let's head into the lighthouse. Hey, hey the deal's off. Or you something else. The deal is off. Insane. Give her back. Hurry. Give her back. Fine, are you mad? So Booker had second thoughts about giving his baby away. And there we have Comstock. So let's try and stop them. Is. Give her back, you son of a bitch! It's ready! Go! So there we go, we're trying to stop them. You can no. see the machine in the background. No, shut down the machine! No! Shut it Anna. down! Shut down Anna. the machine! Now do it! Give me back my daughter! No! And there goes the finger. Anna the Wit is Elizabeth Comstock. <laughs> Anna? No. No. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anna, I'm sorry. You can already now deduce what else is going on here. So, the AD on the hand is of course now stands for Anna the Wit. What the? Which is also very interesting because they kind of spoil it even, well, rather at the beginning of the game, when we are in Battleship Bay, right before we get ambushed at the station, there's a woman that calls Elizabeth Anna. Annabelle. Is that you, she says. I'm gonna put the clip in here as well. Annabelle? Excuse me? Annabelle, it's me, Esther. Oh, no, I'm not Annabelle. Are you sure? She calls her Annabelle. So, we already know now that AD stands for Anna the Wit. Annabelle the Wit, so that's uh, Booker's daughter. But what's more, we already know that Elizabeth is a genetic match for Comstock. So that means that Elizabeth is genetically Comstock's daughter, but also now Booker the Wit's daughter, which means that Comstock is uh, at least related to Booker himself. But it's even more fitting than that because. 
you can also you can really assume right now. I'm not, not really spoiling it at this point. But Booker She's gone, Booker. Is of course is gone. Comstock himself. I shared this room with your regret for almost 20 years. Until one day, a man came to you and offered you a chance at redemption. A chance for us to live together. So there we go. Um, I'm gonna try and explain this in full. So Booker is Comstock. Um, but from a different dimension. A dimension where he did get baptized at Wounded Knee and turned into Comstock. Star started Columbia, ruled Columbia, then started an experiment to find himself a daughter. Realized that a another version of him using the Latest machine also had a daughter. Well, had a real daughter. And he, well, devised a scheme to kidnap her. Um, not really kidnap her, but he had a lot of debts because of a uh, gambling, uh, gambling addiction, which made it easier for him to make a deal with uh, some people, well, the Latesses, that tried to get his daughter from him. And uh, when he realized his mistake, he tried to stop them, causing the portal to prematurely close on Elizabeth's pinky finger over there. Uh, 20 years later, Robert and Rosalind Letes were at that point, of course, betrayed by Comstock. They were murdered, well, attempted murder. And um, they realized they could now, with their new powers, try to make amends and bring Booker back and try to help them stop himself. So let's go through the portal. I told you it would work. We already know it works. The question is, will he? Anna. So sorry, Anna. Do you suppose he branded himself as some sort of penance? Hmm, sure. Don't see the point. What's done is done. What's done will be done. Hmm. I suppose the brand is his hair shirt, as he is ours. So there we go, as he is ours. So we're being dragged to the boat. Miss the girl. Wipe away the death. See, he's starting to put his story together. You're quite fond of this theory of yours. He's manufacturing new memories from his old ones. Well, the brain adapts. I should know. I lived it. Booker, wake up. Booker, wake up. This is where it started. And here we are again. I sold you. To your credit, you did try to weasel out of the deal. This is all Comstock's fault. What if I went back? Killed him before he did any of this. Things get set in motion. How would one know how far back to go? That's the only way to do it. Go back to when he was born. And I'll smother the son of a bitch in his crib. I'll smother the son of a bitch in his crib. So there's a quote at the very beginning of the game by Letas. At that point we don't know who Letas is, of course. But I think it states I'm going to put it on the screen. Um, I think it states that the confused mind will create memories where there are none. So when we cross dimensions, we couldn't really cope with that. Our mind couldn't really cope with the fact that everything changed. So we started to manufacture our own memories. So all the memories about us needing to bring Elizabeth back to our uh, debtors, we, uh, yeah, we just made up in our own mind. So that's why we were confused. That's why we just made up the memories from the books we got at the beginning of the game. And that's why we uh, were already bleeding before we even got through any other portal. It always ends in blood. <sighs> so, because uh, the first time we bled, I think, was when Comstock started to talk about our, uh, our past misdeeds. And that's also, of course, the reason why Comstock knows so much about us. Why uh, Comstock seems to know the future and the past because, of course, he lived it. So let's see what the next portal is gonna get us to because this still isn't done. We still need a bit of revelation to how this tale will end. But uh, without further ado, let's open up the door. Booker, are you sure this is what you want? I have to. It's the only way to undo what I've done to you. Because Booker is starting to realize what is happening. Booker DeWitt, are you ready to what be born this? again? 
Why are we back here? This isn't the same place, Bucker. Of course it is. I remember. Wait. Are you ready to leave behind all You're that not. has gone before? Wipe the You're slate not. clean. Who are you? You chose to walk away, but in other oceans, you didn't. You took the baptism. You, you, you were born again as a different man. It all has to end. To have never started. Not just in this world, but in all of ours. Smother him in the crab. Smother. 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 Before the choice is made. Before you are reborn. And what name shall you take, my son? He's Zachary Comstock. He's Booker DeWitt. No. I'm both. And there we go. Goodbye, Booker. And there we go. With Booker dies Comstock, with Booker dies Columbia, and with Booker dies Elizabeth. So... I'm gonna set up a bit of a timeline here, so that's the trophies for finishing the game and finishing it on hard. Uh, yeah, I think that's all the trophies, because I think there's an easy trophy as well. Oh, Jesus Christ, and that's unlocking 1999 mode. So 1999 mode is the mode where you uh, can die on hard, which is fun. I did that once, but I'm gonna see if I'm gonna do that again. So, very, very amazing ending, of course. Very great game. Um, don't think I have to say that to anybody here. Um, but let me kind of explain what just happened. So, there is a timeline for this. So, the moment Booker ended the battle at Wounded Knee, he was given the choice to have himself baptized. That choice became a split dimension. So, at that point, there's a, well, a many worlds theory that every time somebody makes a decision or a major decision, they create a different alternate reality. So Booker, when he decided to uh, not get baptized, also created the version of his world where he did decide to be reborn as Zachary Hale Comstock. What happened after that is pretty clear. Uh, Comstock went on to uh, create Columbia, while uh, Booker DeWitt went on to uh, suffer, well, made himself suffer in uh, booze and alcohol uh, for 20 years until the Lutesses came around. But in Comstock's case, the scene got a bit um, more interesting. So after a few years, Comstock uh, had, of course, Columbia set up, um, seceded from the Union, the American Union, uh, then, well, brought in Rosalind Lutess. Rosalind Lutess was already available on Columbia as a start, as a genius scientist. But because of her alternate dimension machine, she uh, already came in contact with her brother, which is not actually her brother, because Robert Lutess is just the version of Rosalind Lutess in his alternate dimension. So they are actually the same person. So that's why at the beginning of the game, you saw the statue of Rosalind Lutess morph, well, Robert Lutess, I think, morph into Rosalind Lutess's statue, because they are the very, very same person. Um, what else do we have? So that machine, the Lutess has made, he started to, um, well, experiment th with that. Comstock also realized that he started to make prophecies about what was going to happen in the future because he saw that through the tears in Colombia. But he also saw that he needed a daughter to do that. But because of the effects of the machine, he became infertile and couldn't create, uh, well, make another daughter himself. So he used the machine to look for an alternate dimension where he didn't become Comstock, but did get a daughter. And he found that with Booker DeWitt, using the Latesses to uh, convince Booker, using his debts, to, uh, well, give up his only child uh, after his wife died in uh, childbirth. Um, and that is the that were the scenes that we just saw happening. So uh, Booker gave Anna to the Latesses. Uh, realized his mistake before they got a chance to get back to Colombia through another tear. But uh, when he tried to stop them, 
Uh, he also uh, caused, of course, Elizabeth's finger to uh, get cut, cut off. So that's why there's a link between Elizabeth and Anna. That also explains Elizabeth's powers, because one of the voxophones of Rosalind Letess explains that her powers come from the fact that she's present in both realities. So her finger was left behind in Booker's reality and the rest of her body, obviously, in the uh, Columbia reality. Um, so after that, we already saw that there was a very big difference between Comstock and Booker, because technically they're the same age. Because Booker withered in his own, uh, well, little detective office for 20 years, and Comstock used that time to build Columbia up to be a giant powerhouse. Um, but why did Comstock look so different? Well, that's also another part effect of that machine, the uh, alternate dimension machine, because the machine. Uh, had a lot of radiation so it caused him to get cancer but also caused him to rapidly age so that was the reason why Comstock was so much older than uh, Booker. They also cheated of course because the I think the voice actor for um, well the voice of uh, Comstock is a lot different than the voice for uh, Booker I, although I think they're the same voice actor are we gonna well put that in text here underneath whether that's the case or not because I don't know if that's the case. So the Will the Circle Be Unbroken, of course, is a song we keep hearing um, through the entire game. And there we have actually the vocals are by Courtney Draper, which is the voice of Elizabeth, who is the voice of Elizabeth. And the guitar is by uh, Troy Baker himself, which is who is the voice of uh, Booker. So I think we're going to get that scene in a second as well in the credits here, if they still added it. And the rest is actually history. So after uh, Comstock well, created a few problems for himself. So because Elizabeth wasn't really his daughter, he wanted to make sure that nobody who actually knew that survived to, uh, well, tell the masses because his entire regime was built on the fact that Elizabeth was gonna take over and Elizabeth was, of course, the magical seed of the prophet that uh, who uh, just came to be in a, in a matter of a week. Um... So that's why he got his own wife killed. That's why he got the Latessas killed in an accident. But Fink's idea of an accident was that he uh, tampered with the dimensional machine. Which means that thing exploded. But because of the unique nature of that machine, he actually didn't kill them, but scattered them across dimensions. So they kind of got an extreme version of what Elizabeth got. Uh, which is to say that they could completely control where and when they appeared without any effect on the timeline. Which means they also saw everything what happened, which is gonna factor into the DLC uh, once we get to that. Because um, that's of course gonna be the next uh, pair of videos. Um, so the Latessas, after they were uh, not murdered, realized that Comstock was going, uh, well, was really really a bad guy so they were trying to stop him and the idea they came up with to stop him was to bring back Booker the Booker that they stole Elizabeth from it was kind of their ironic way of dealing with Comstock himself by letting him get murdered by himself because that's of course what we did and uh, well it all worked out at the end Booker realized that he was Comstock and let's just uh, just let the Elizabeths kill him because that was the only way to stop Comstock from ever coming to be. If we killed Booker at the point that he was going to get baptized, all the other dimensions would cease to be because they were never going to happen. So that's why at the end, when we saw those multiple Elizabeths, because there were, of course, a lot of uh, different Bookers and Comstock that all made that different choice, um, those different Elizabeths that all had gone through an amazing, well, a very terrible ordeal, just uh, came together and murdered Booker DeWitt at his uh, point of rebirth. And that's where the game ended. Um, everything else, we're gonna continue on in the DLC. There's a few things I wanna explain further in that, but that's gonna be explained in the DLC as well. Cause next up is uh, the DLC for Bioshock Infinite, which is uh, Burial at Sea, which is in two parts. Uh, I think first, yeah, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Um, I'm just gonna, let it go run its course so uh i hope you guys enjoyed it uh if you did enjoy the series if you did don't forget to like it right here on youtube we're not gonna end the video right here because i'm pretty sure there's still another uh, segment over here at the end of the credits so i'm gonna put this at the end of the video and i hope you guys enjoy so for that uh for now for me 
it's the end in this series. So uh, thank you guys enormously for the support because this series had has been watched by a few people actually. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my explanation as well that I didn't spoil anything too soon. But uh, yeah, thank you guys enormously for watching and uh, see you guys next time and enjoy Elizabeth and Booker having a little uh, song again. So uh, goodbye. That's what I'm saying. Went back home, Lord. My home was lonesome. Yeah. Went back, back home, Lord. My home was lonesome. All my brothers sisters cry. See, but then now it's too short. Now it's one too short. Because yeah, it, then it goes, what a home. So cute. We'll play it one more time. Went back home, Lord. missing the next line. Um, that's what I'm saying, like, this is the second, that's the third, that's the fourth, but then... And I don't think that's supposed to say lonely. It's probably lonely. It's lonely. lonely. Oh, we're just lonely. missing the line. We'll, we'll, we'll get the actual one. Awesome. Um, Can we write second. a third that's the other lyrics? There are loved ones in the glory Whose dear forms you often Should be like slowed down a little bit since it's the last verse.
You can do that. Sounds otherwise, cool, it was though. like. <laughs> well, otherwise, it was just like an abrupt ending, right? All right. Well, so well, so let what I want to do. You guys are really, really, really good. What I want to do well, is make I, it twenty eight worse. I want to I want I want to take the tempo down a little bit if we can, um, and sort of start by finding like Booker. If you could just be sort of like picking away at the beginning first, and then sort of start to play the song, and maybe then um, you guys kind of find the tempo together a little bit. Um, I want it to feel you guys are so excellent and professional. Yeah, and no, it won't be like that. I, okay. I want to make it sound like it's not like you know sure. Sharon Crow and, and um, right. Eric Clapton <laughs> in the session. Um, so he gets it, Eric Clapton, I get Cheryl Crow. <laughs> Joff, who do you want, Joff? Oh, right. Yeah, uh, Joplin. Uh, next, Tina. <laughs> Pretty Spears okay. and Seal. There's also a little final scene that I kind of forgot about. Because I think this is supposed to be a dimension where Anna? Booker is alive and he still has his daughter. Just to give Booker that. Is that you? Kind of happy ending. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I see you guys in the next series. Goodbye.